Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. Major, major transition is taking place. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Lord. Thank you for yet another opportunity to share your word. I pray, Lord Jesus, that this word is going to be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. I pray, Lord Jesus, that whoever is going to hear this word, they shall hear that which you're saying in this hour. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You see, I've been seeing the number 11 almost everywhere. And at first, I didn't think much of it. I didn't pay much attention to it. I would I would look at the clock and it will be like 11 minutes past 1 or 1 minute past 11. My bills will come in 1, 1, 1. You see, I usually wake up at midnight for prayers, but... For some reason, I started waking up at 11 and then I realized that there was something that the Holy Spirit was trying to communicate to me through this number. And I got into fasting and prayer and seeking understanding of what this was about. The Lord said to me, major transition. I had this word clearly, major transition. And I started pushing in to get more understanding of what this is all about. And this is what the Lord ministered to me. We are coming to the end of the first half of the year. And many are going to experience major transition in their lives as they proceed in this second half of the year. Many are going to experience a shifting and a supernatural turn around in their lives in this second half of the year. You see this transition transition is big this transition that is taking place it is major and it's gonna be irreversible this transition is undeniable this transition is unalterable there is no return to this there is no going back it is major now listen everything that you lost it's on its way to bless you. It had gone to a wealthy place. The curse that has been plaguing you is broken. There are miracles that are being released by angelic intervention right now in the lives of many. And you are going to witness this with your very own eyes. God is going to silence your past permanently you see the financial losses are gonna come to an end and you're gonna experience total financial recovery you are gonna experience financial abundance this transition is major and it is coming with major things in your life the <clears throat> Number 11 is usually referred to as the number of transition. 11th hour comes right before the start of a new day. When we say 11th hour, it usually references being on the verge of accomplishing something or on the verge of entering into something or transitioning into something. Deuteronomy 11, 11, it reads, but the land you are crossing, the land you are to take possession of, it is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks rain from the heavens. God's promise to Israel in this passage of scripture was that when they finally make it to the promised land, they are going to transition into a season in which they were under God's continual blessing from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. This transition is big. It is major. It is also, this number 11 is also associated with revelation that helps us to transition into something new. This revelation helps us to transition into something that is overdue. Joseph was the 11th son of Jacob and his name means God will add. His name means God will increase. His major gifting was revelation and he was a Joseph was a prophetic dream interpreter. He was used by God to transition Israel into a new season of blessing during one of the biggest economic downturns on this earth. Major transition is taking place in the lives of many. And there is an 11th hour ministry call that is a faulting in 
your life. There is an urgency in this hour to move. God is going to give you wisdom. Wisdom to move. God is going to give you wisdom and knowledge. God is going to give you the ability and the relationships to accomplish this new 11th hour move. Now listen, your boldness, your obedience, your willingness are opening doors for you and a move of God in your life. It is opening doors for you and a move of God in your ministry, in your calling and in your assignment. Transition times are never easy because the enemy is going to up his game to cause you not to move into what God has for you. You are going to start getting strange attacks. You're going to see strange attack rise against you. Attacks especially orchestrated through witchcraft. You see, late last month and the beginning of this month, I experienced some very strange witchcraft attacks. And I was wondering if there is any door that I've opened unknowingly in my life that has given the enemy access into my life, access into my soul. But the Lord ministered to me that it is because of the major transition that is taking place. I, I was having so many dreams of, of moving, of living, of traveling. I will see myself in a bus. I will see myself in an airplane. I will see myself in a car. I was always on the move. And God ministered to me that there is a transition that is taking place in the lives of many. And this transition is major. Now listen, number 11 also is associated with disorder and chaos. It is associated with judgment and the devil is going to try to program disorder and chaos in your life so that you get offended and fall under judgment. So be careful to guard your heart in this season. Luke eleven eleven it says, which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snack instead? In this passage of scripture, Jesus gives us a revelation that our father is not mean and our father is not judgmental. This is a transitional revelation that is being projected here. God is going to... God is going to provide a deeper revelation about who he is. God is going to provide a deeper revelation in our calling to love the world. Many of the remnants are already awakening to this 11th hour move in their ministries and even in their lives. God is moving in your life. God is moving in your ministry and is peeling back the, the revelations of what is next for you in this 11th hour call. And it is beautiful. The, it is new, it is fresh, it is pure, it is one of a kind. You are not going to be able to compare it with anything. Isaiah 119, it says, If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Now listen, you have been moving in both. That is what the Lord ministered to me. You have been moving in, willing, in willingness and you have been moving in obedience. And it is pleasing to the Lord. The Lord is pleased with how you are moving in the areas that he has called you to. There are times that you have felt stretched. But you kept on moving anyway. There are times that you had no resources, but you kept on moving. There are times that your faith was small, but you kept on moving. There are times that you were weary, but you kept on moving anyway. Saying, not my will, Lord, but your will be done in my life. Listen, this transition is major. And because of your willingness and obedience, this has caused heavens to shift above you. And major transition is taking place in your life right now. People are going to covet 
what the Lord has chosen to give you in this hour. People are going to be jealous of what you are, you are doing in this season. They are going to be jealous of what you are accomplishing in this season. They are going to be jealous of what you are accomplishing over this 11th hour acceleration move that is in your life. This 11th hour that you're moving in. Matthew 20, 16, it reads, So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. For many are called, but few are chosen. You have watched others go ahead of you in their lives. You have watched others go ahead of you in their ministries. And you thought that you were denied. You thought that you were forgotten. But this transition, this made this transition that is taking place is going to catapult you to the front. It's going to catapult you to places that you never even thought that you'd be in. You are going to be the first you are chosen of God and nothing connected to you shall die. There is a difference that God is pouring on you. There is favor and anointing that is being released upon you. God is going to give you victory over the most prominent battle in your life. You are breaking out of the shackles that held you. Everything that was designed to keep you bound is removed and it is time for you to live. It is time for you to move in this 11th hour that is upon you. You are transitioning into a major season in your life and you are going to experience breakthrough in every area of your life. You are going to experience breakthrough in your house from every front. This transition is major. Guard your heart and cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Cooperate with the leading of the Holy Spirit. It is your season to transition into what God has always purposed for you. Into what God has always planned for you. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you so, so much, but the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. You are highly appreciated. God bless you.